South London and Maudsley NHS Foundation Trust provide a wide range of services to meet the mental health needs of older adults. Many are based in the community. However, for some people, their first point of contact with the services that SLAM provide may be through an inpatient psychiatric liaison team based in a general hospital. The psychiatric liaison team is a team of mental health professionals based within the Guy's and St Thomas's hospitals. Uh, we're an old age liaison team, so we only work with adults over the age of 65 years. Less than 40% of hospitals in the country have liaison teams, and it's rare to find one focused on older adults. Hi, Lynn. My name is Dr. Sean Love. I'm one of the doctors in the liaison psychiatry team. The team comprises three clinicians led by a consultant and supported by a mental health pharmacist. Their role is to identify older adults with mental health problems, treat where necessary, and arrange discharge to appropriate community care. Almost one in four people coming into acute hospitals may have a mental health problem. It's probably much higher amongst older adults. We're probably looking closer to 60%. We work alongside the medical specialists and therapists within the hospital when they've identified that an inpatient may have a mental health issue. The cases that we would see would include delirium, dementia and depression. Delirium being an acute confusion, Often we see in the older population when somebody becomes unwell, perhaps with pneumonia or another infection. It's a temporary state of affairs and it tends to resolve when the illness is improved. Dementia, obviously chronic memory problems, and then depression, often related to being in hospital for a long period of time or having a complicated illness. Team members work in close partnership with their medical colleagues in planning the best possible care. We've just been seeing a man who has been in hospital for some days now, uh, came in acutely confused and he's become quite difficult to manage in this sort of setting. So we have been asked to become involved just to help keep him safe and keep others safe around him as well. The team intervened to offer specialist psychiatric support. He's been started on a medication regime but we just come along just to make sure that the medication is actually suiting him. We make sure that we review him on a daily basis to see if there are any adjustments that are needed, make sure that side effects are taken into consideration and ensure that underlying causes, because there'll always be some underlying cause which isn't due to mental health, there'll be a physical cause, make sure that that's addressed. We're quite good at exploring that interface between mental and physical health problems and teasing out the problems and trying to work out which bits are mental health, which bits are physical and making sure that the whole person is addressed rather than just one small part of them. The team do this through regular attendance at multidisciplinary ward meetings. We all sit down, physiotherapist, occupational therapist, medical team and nursing staff uh, and flag up any particular issues or concerns that they might have, then if a patient has particular mental health issues or concerns or input is required from our team, it's a place where a referral can be made or where I can offer advice to the team so that they can better manage the patient. This holistic approach also extends to ongoing care. I think the most difficult thing for the population that we work with is the lack of awareness about the services and support that are available to them. Advocating on their behalf is a very important part of our role. Uh, we work closely with our colleagues in the community as well as GPs to keep them abreast of any treatment or any diagnosis that's been confirmed and treatment that's been initiated.